Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, myself Chirag. In this video, I am going to discuss about understanding of UDP socket programming. So let's start with introduction of socket. So first of all, what is socket? Socket is an endpoint of the two-way communication between programs running on the network. It means socket is required when two programs running on the network in two different pieces. So both the program communicate with each other with the help of socket. Next. How many types of socket? There are main two types of sockets. The first one is stream socket and the another one is datagram socket. Next, the characteristics of socket. The characteristics of stream socket is reliable and error free services. So it means during the transmission from sender to receiver side, any packet is lost or damaged which is again sent by the sender. The another characteristics is sequential packet delivered. So it means sender can assign sequence number to the all the packets and sending one by one in a sequential manner. So using the sequence number reliable and error free services are provided by the stream socket. Next datagram socket characteristics are unreliable and best effort service. So here unreliable means lost and damaged datagram is not again sent by the sender. And the best effort service means all the datagram reached at the destination within a small period of time. The another characteristics of datagram socket is datagram may arrive out of order. So it means datagram socket cannot assign any sequence number to the datagram and all the datagram put on the network link simultaneously. So all the datagram reach at the destination within a small period of time because datagram socket provides the best effort services in compared to stream socket. Next application of sockets. So based on characteristics, the application of socket is telnet or SSH and HTTP HTTPS. So it means the stream socket application is based on the request and response behavior. So based on application, we can say the connection is established before sending the data through the stream socket. Then after sending the data and then connection is terminated. And the application of datagram socket is live streaming audio or video. So it means no connection is required to send the data directly sender sending the data through the datagram socket to the receiver side. So based on the characteristics and application of datagram socket we can say there is no connection establishment between the sender and receiver directly sender send the data to the receiver. So based on characteristics and application of stream socket we can say stream socket is associated with the TCP socket also known as the connection oriented socket. And the datagram socket is associated with the UDP protocol. So it means UDP socket. So it is also known as the connection less socket. Next other sockets. Other sockets are row socket and sequence packet socket. So here row socket is associated with the UDP socket or we can say datagram socket. And sequence packet socket is associated with the TCP socket or the stream socket. Next. What is socket programming? Socket programming is a way of connecting two nodes on a network to communicate with each other. As per the definition of socket, socket is an endpoint when two programs are communicate with each other on a network. So it means socket is created on the particular machine or PC. So here we can say using the socket programming we are connecting two different nodes on a network for the communication purpose. Next, which functions are used for the socket programming? There are main functions of the socket programming are the first one is socket, next bind, listen, connect, accept, send receive or send to receive from and the last one is close. So now understand all the system functions using the telephone analogy. So let's take one assumption client is equal to user 1 and server is equal to user 2 because we all know that the socket programming is used in the client server architecture. Now the first function is socket. So as per the definition of socket, the socket is an endpoint of two-way communication. So here telephone is installed at user one side and the user two side. So now we can say the socket is the endpoint for communication like a telephone. The next function is bind. So we all know that in telephone communication assign a unique number to each telephone. So it means using the bind function we can assign the unique socket address. The next function is connect. So whenever user 1 wants to communicate with user 2 at that time user 1 will dial the user 2 telephone number and then try to connect with the user 2. So here using the connect function client connect to the server port. The next function is listen. Whenever user 1 is calling to the user 2 
At that time, user 2 is listen the incoming telephone ring from his or her phone. So it means using the listen function waiting for the connection. So here user 1 is waiting to connect with the user 2. Next function is accept. So whenever user 2 will pick up the receiver, it means accept the call. So here accept function means accept the connection by the server. The next function is send or receive. So after accepting the call by user 2, so user 1 and user 2 will communicate with each other and exchange the information. So here send and receive function means exchanging the data between the client and server. The last function is close. After exchanging the information, user 1 and user 2 hang the receiver on the telephone. It means end of communication. So it means close the connection. So if you want to learn all the function in detail with the programming concept, then click on the above I button. Next, understanding socket programming with UDP. So here in this topic, I have explained the flow of UDP socket program. We all know that socket programming is used in the client server architecture. So here I have clarified that whenever you write the socket program with UDP or TCP, you have to write server and client program are separate. So let's start with the server side program. So first of all, you have to write the socket function in the server side program. The purpose of socket function is to create a socket at the server side. As per the definition, we all know that socket is an endpoint for the communication. So socket is created at the server as well as the client side. After the socket function, the next function is bind. The purpose of bind function is to bind the IP address and the port number with specific services which is running on the server. After the bind function, next function is receive from function. Receive from function is blocks until datagram received from the client. So here accept and listen function is not used because UDP provide the connection less services. Now move towards the client program. So in the client program, the first function is socket. So we all know that using the socket function, we are creating a socket at the client side. Next function is send to function. Here client side connect function is not used because UDP provide the connection less services. So no need to connection establishment in this program. So using the send to function client send a request to the server. So first of all server will receive that request and process that request. After processing a request server will send a reply to the client. So client will receive that reply through the receive from function at the client side. Still client want to access a data from the server. So client will again send a request through the send to function and data exchanging process are going on. When client will receive all the required data from the server, then client use the close function to close the socket at the client side. So after that server is in waiting state for the client request, but server is not get any request from the client. So automatically server close the socket at server side. So this is the flow of UDP socket programming. So client and server program of the UDP socket programming is available on my blog. So follow my blog eduresources1.com. So if you want to learn all this function in detail with programming concept. So there is one video available in my channel. The video name is system function for socket programming. So if you like this video, please hit the like button and share with others. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe me on YouTube Chirag Balodia. Follow my blog edu resources. All the video materials are available on my blog edu resources. All the links are given in description.